so eBay is the place to be. I, 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 I did a video, I don't know, maybe yesterday, the day before. I don't know, I don't know when I put it out. Um, and of course, this is similar. This is similar, right? Um, I find items that I think are kind of cool that come up in like Facebook as ads. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And usually they're marked up because of course they buy it from either the person that makes it or from eBay. And then they mark it up and do an ad and it sells like crazy. Or you get people like me that look at it and are like, oh, that's cool. Let's just go straight to eBay and see if we can get it way cheaper, which I did. Not way cheaper, but cheaper. Now, the other thing to kind of be aware of, sometimes it's worth paying the extra money because I find sometimes, not always, but sometimes you get delivery faster from like Facebook ad sometimes or Instagram ad than you would from eBay. But everything I've ordered from eBay in the last like couple weeks has arrived way faster than I thought it would. So uh, today we're looking at this. This is the adjustable bungee cord cargo motorcycle helmet elastic rope storage tie down. Yeah, it rolls off the tongue. It does rolls off the tongue. And uh, this is this is this is it. This is what I got from eBay right here. So we're gonna take a look at it, see what I bought, and then we're gonna actually just go for a quick ride. And uh, we're gonna tie down my helmet because that's kind of what it looks like it's supposed to be for. And uh, see see how it works. Okay, so first off, here is the ad. I'll put the ad right there. This is the ad that that kind of kind of kind of hooked me, you know. And again, I find that a lot of these ads they're probably buying the product from like an eBay and then marking it up and then reselling it okay you and I can go straight to eBay which is what I did uh, so ten dollars US about thirteen dollars Canadian uh, free standard shipping uh, and as you can see here it, at day of filming right now it's I don't even know what date it is it is the 12th so they estimated about two weeks right they're estimating about two weeks for it to arrive so that's that's decent you know coming from eBay I don't think anybody would have it faster you got some hooks and you got basically it's it's identical to what the the other company on on Facebook was was selling. So, here here it is here. Again, um there are all kinds of bungee things that I think you and I as motorcycle riders should have. Number one is you should just have bungee cables. A bunch of different ones. I usually carry uh, in one of my side bags, it's not necessarily if I'm going for just like an afternoon ride, but if I'm going for like a day trip or longer, uh, bungee cables. So I have short ones, medium ones, and long ones just for tying down whatever. Uh, I also have like a bungee net that allows me to tie down bigger things. So if I want to tie down, you know, maybe I, I have a dry bag and, or, or I have a lot of times I bring an extra coat or I bring like we have uh, the inflatable vests. So this allows me to bungee that to um, use the net to to actually fasten that. This I, I wouldn't use for that. This really, it, it, as it talks about, is for a helmet, right? Now there's other stuff I'm sure you could use, but it's helmet. So because I find with a bungee net, it's too big. Like the helmet would be like, kind of loose around, and if it's loose, then the issue is, of course, whoa, that. If it's loose, then the issue is, of course, stand-up desk, that it actually unhooks from wherever it's hooked, right? So, as you can see, this is, this is it. That's it right there. So, it's, it's got, got a nice... Now, these are plastic, what I would have liked to have seen, right? Because it is plastic. And if you're going to put it over, like, a chrome piece or something like that, or, or something, you know, like, that's hooked, that's not painted, it should be fine. But, um... <sighs> I don't know how it would scratch if it would scratch paint. I, paint. I would like to have seen it uh, have a rubber coating on that because it is motorcycle based or four. A rubber coating would be nice on there, even if it adds. You know, if it added a dollar, that'd be fine, right? Um, but that that's okay. That's all right, right there. The other thing that would be nice in a, maybe a future version is if the hook, the hook part right here, right? Because you see the hook part. Um, if this part here was on something that allowed it to spin so that depending on where you were hooking it, right, this would be able to spin to latch properly. So this would be fastened, but the hook itself could rotate. That I'd like to see. That would be good. 
Now, the other thing, of course, is it does have these, which I really like, and um, this allows you to have it this length or shorter or longer or whatever you kind of look for. But I think this will be a good length for a helmet, especially on my bike. And then last but not least, right, depending on your helmet, this, I guess, right, as we see here, you'd latch this on and then these, these kind of separate to kind of get where you're, where you're going. Now, the other thing, this is me thinking, right? Especially for those of us that have like a full face helmet, what would kind of be cool is if they had one, maybe an extra one, like a, so you got, you got these four. This is, this is me thinking. You got these four that go over the helmet, right? Then what would be cool is if they had a fifth one, a fifth one that came through that, especially for those of us that have like a modular or a, or a, a full face helmet or something like that, something that has almost like a safety one. So it goes under the main helmet and then through the chin guard and then you clamp it, right? So it has the, like a detachable snap, right? So you could feed it through. Then you'd have these four going over holding it. But if for some reason those fell off, came down for whatever, because you're not paying attention behind you, right? Um, that other one would kind of at least be a safety so that it can't necessarily flop around. You get what I'm saying? Right, just a little fifth one that kind of goes through. Anyways, we're gonna take this outside because it seems it's like it's it seems like it's got some good elasticity to it, I think, right? Yeah, we're gonna hook it onto my wife's bike because my bike, you know, not a great test because it has like a back, like a seat rest behind it and stuff like that. I want to hook it into something that doesn't have that so we can see if it stays where it's supposed to stay. All right, let's go upstairs, mount a helmet, and go for a quick ride. Okay, so we're outside. Got Mary's bike again. Mary's got a good bike for this little test because we can just kind of put a helmet in. And I grabbed a smaller helmet because I figure, you know, as the helmet gets bigger, then it would be easier for anything to kind of hold on to it. But if it's smaller and it can hold on to that, then once you get a bigger helmet, then it should have no issues. So I think... I'm going to try to lash this on here. There's one right there. Perfect. And let's see. It's got a good stretch to it. So I'm just going to kind of go around there first. And then all I'm going to do, they got, they definitely have some good stretch to them without question. Okay. Is that too far? It might be too far. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, so putting a helmet here, like so. Okay, there's like four of these little bands that kind of just go over it. Again, like so. Okay, so it really wants to go over like straight. So let's let's hook into let's hook into here. Where can I hook? I can hook there. Okay, I can hook there. And this, this just floats over. All right. Just kind of spread it around. Spread it around. And maybe this can go, this can go here, maybe. Yeah, so it, I think it works, but it is, it loses, I do think it loses some of that convenience, right, it's there, and this is where I again think, you know, having, having a, right, like, see how this goes on, and that one slides off, and then that one slides off, maybe if I come across, and come across again and then across that one's that one's all right it's uh again i, I get the process maybe that's not a good spot and then they're all off cool it really wants to come straight straight across can i get that straight across nope i can't get that straight across there 
See, that becomes, that becomes the issue, right? That's there. If I hook this one into the exact same spot as the other one, which is that, smack myself right in the face, which is sweet. Yeah, I don't, you know. And if you had just something else to latch onto, you know, that's my helmet. That's my helmet itself. We're not latching onto that. Okay, can we latch? No, see, I don't trust that at all. Maybe, maybe if I latch here. I'm just trying to find a spot, right? And latch there. And then kind of get it in front. Man, you would think it would be easier than this. I would have had the net on like 10 minutes ago. Okay, so I'm putting you like so. Okay, and I'm putting you like so. You're down there, you're up here, you're down there, you're over here. In theory, in theory, should that go anywhere? I don't know. In theory, no. Oh, I don't know. This is where, again, I think it would be great to have that fifth, that extra one that I could go through here. Because then it, it's actually latched into something, you know? You know what I'm saying? But, I don't, I don't think that's going anywhere. Alright, let's go for a ride. <sighs> See if I can lose my helmet. Because that, that would be fantastic if I did that. Alright, let's see if this will start. Okie dokie. We're now we're just gonna go for a ride. A quick quick loop around the block. Um we are gonna hit a one one or two of the roads that we on is a pretty rough road. So we are hoping for the best, I guess. Hoping for the best. And I can't you know, I'm not gonna be able to see it, so really the hope is is that we get back and I still have a helmet. That's the hope. Yep. That is the hope. I may be out a hundred bucks. I don't know. And the ten dollars for this helmet thing that not quite living up to it's it's the dream. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go around this way. First bump. Do I still have a helmet? I don't know. I can't. I can't see. I guess I can reach. Yeah, there's still a helmet there. So that's good. Again, we're not gonna go too far. I'm gonna put my visor down. We're not gonna go too far because, like I said, uh, I think you know if you're riding on the highway or riding on the well, just standard day to day. Like this is again pretty bumpy road. You know, if it can handle this for whatever, you know, 10 minutes, then my guess would be we should be okay. But like this is this is a good bumpy road. I want to make sure we come back afterwards and the helmet just hasn't moved. That's the key. If it's if it's slid around even a little bit, right? Then then I'd be very much concerned. Um where where this is you know where this is latching on to so um i guess we'll find out i'm just gonna kind of yammer with you guys and again i'm picking the two of the worst kind of bumpiest roads in the area that we live those mirrors aren't right maybe that's better right because on a smooth road highway back there you know, you could you could almost just have your helmet sit back there sometimes if you've got a nice smooth road and if there's no wind hitting it, then it should be okay. I'm just constantly just kind of reaching back to just to verify that I still have a helmet. It would be an excuse for me to buy a new helmet. That would be awesome. Yeah. I saw these off, off topic. I saw these helmets that are on a website. Um, not a horrible price, like 150 bucks actually. That's actually a really good price. But it's like a three-quarter helmet, but it has like a chin guard that you can kind of snap in, and it's a 
I think at least. I think it's I think it's sexy looking. And really, that's what's important about a helmet is if it's sexy looking. That was a wide turn, but there was gravel there, so I couldn't crank it. Crank it hard on gravel, then you could be uh, seeing up close what the asphalt looks like. Oh yeah, see how see how crappy this road is? You're just kind of all over the place trying to. This is this is like a fun game trying to miss all the holes and sections of road that are just garbage. You know? Yeah. And I got my my hoodie strings are floating all over the place. That's exciting. Oh, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Still helmet? Yep. Still got a helmet. So far so good. I just, you know, I think, like, that's why I, you know, I, I was saying at the beginning of the video, you know, um, I think it's really important for us to have, like, actual bungee cords, different lengths. It's really important for you to have a bungee net. You know, bungee nets are really nice. Uh, and this, this one is, this one is cool, for sure. It's cool, right? Uh, I think the bungee net is probably more useful than this, because for one, you know, really, really it's for a helmet, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of its jam, right, it's kind of for a helmet, um, then, then I think bungee cables would be next, because again, at least with a bungee cable, I could feed the whole thing, well, I guess I could with this too, I could feed it through, like, the loops to kind of tie it down, I guess you could do that with that, but bungee cables, at least you could, if you got a bunch of them, you could have all kinds of different shapes and sizes, and you could be attaching all kinds of stuff to your bike, right? And not only could you use them for your motorcycle, but you could use them for, well, what, whatever, right? You could be using them to, I don't know, just go camping or you're using them in the garage or whatever. So those, those just really useful outside of just a motorcycle. So that's, that's super good. Uh, and then uh, I think lastly would be this one. I, I think this is cool, but I think uh, you buy it if you have the other stuff. You know, buy it if you have the other stuff because it's, you know, it's not not that again, not that it's crazy expensive being around ten dollars US, but it's got a real specific purpose to it, right? And if you have a small helmet, do I have a helmet? Yeah. If you have a small helmet with limited like attach points, right? Then I think that makes it just a little bit more difficult for it to function. And like I said, like I, I would have had that helmet on there with a, like with my with my bungee net. I would have had that attached in like 30 seconds. It took me way longer than that to attach this because you know you have only you have you only have two two points to attach, and then you have to make sure that it's tight enough and fitting properly and, and all that kind of jazz. So uh, I give it I give it I give it you know like a seven out of ten in regards to concept and coolness right i think if they had that fifth strap and the rotatable hooks that would that would be significantly better right it would be just way better and you know you'd have um way more options so i think that's number one so the key is yeah no it's on right all the all the straps doesn't look like any of the straps moved so that's good so it functions and it's it's nice because it only needs two to attach points, but you know my concern, like I said, would be that you wouldn't be paying attention and something like this would move or loosen and you'd be like, crap. So I leave it up to you guys. Uh, neat, neat concept. It does work for sure. Definitely works. Um, and I may not have it on perfect, but it's it seems to be holding it, which is good. You guys can make up your decision. You guys can make up your decision. You're, you're, you're grown-ups. It's ten dollars. Spend the ten dollars. See what you think. Let me know in the comments if you have one and how it works for you. All right, guys, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.